Target 7 continues to work to find answers on the death of a Rio Rancho woman, 82-year-old June Ann Fannell. Police say her caretaker, Henry Cardona, shot and killed her after he asked to have her removed from the home. When officers were in the home, they talked about the guns Cardona owned, making some question if the state's red flag law would have allowed those weapons to be taken away. You're a, oh, fire, yeah. a firearms guy. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. What did you say? I said, you're fine until I kill you. For the first time tonight, we're hearing from Cardona's lawyer. Target 7's John Carnelli talked with the attorney in an exclusive interview and if the red flag law could have been used. Rudy, how long have you been a lawyer? I'm going on 43 years. 43 years. And in your 43 years of practicing law, how odd is this case? Uh, I've never had one like this. Uh, there's multiple victims in this, but the two really huge victims are the decedent and Mr. Cardona. Where was the real failure? <sighs> Boy, that's a really tough question. Do you believe the red flag law could have been implemented when the police first showed up to the home? In this situation, um, probably not because there had never been any prior incident. There weren't really threats. When we listen to the 911 calls and we watch the police body camera video, we hear Mr. Cardona asking for help. He says, get Junan out of here. Whose responsibility at the end of the day was it to get Junan out of that home to get Henry help? Well, I think it's Adult Protective Services, but in, in seeing how that works, it, it, it's got a lot of gaps. For instance, if she doesn't want to leave, they're not going to make her leave. So you feel most of the burden is on Adult Protective Services. Change within Adult Protective Services so that another tragedy like this doesn't happen. Well, I think they have to see the flags and they have to react to them appropriately. And when somebody says, I need respite, they need to give them respite. We have to do a better job. We have to care more about people all the way through the end of their life not just when they can take care of themselves. Well, John, Adult Protective Services wouldn't comment, but you did ask if protections are in place for caregivers. Yeah, that's right, Doug. Protective Services says they do not hire those who give care at home. Instead, they're hired through insurance by family. And they also told us there is a shortage of caretakers nationwide. And you also asked about protections for people having problems with their caretakers. Yeah, that's exactly right, Shelley. They told us that you should contact local law enforcement if you do have a concern. You can also call the number on your screen and make a report there. All right, some good information, John. Thank you. Thank you.